This anime is a little Marvel universe. The main characters will fight each other using their superpowers, which were given to them by a secret organization. It also organizes violent games between the superheroes. The main goal of the organization is to understand whose abilities will be the most effective in battles and who will be the winner at the end of the game. Characters are endowed with a variety of abilities, such as turning an ordinary stick into a sharp sword that can cut through practically anything, fast, teleportation, yeah, something similar from the movie X-Men, also such abilities as mesmerizing voodoo magic or hand cannon, which by the way will have several players at once, so who will be the winner and whose abilities will be the strongest? Let's find out. Akira, a high school student, is a professional gamer who can't imagine his life without games. One day, on his way to school, he was standing at a red traffic light when suddenly a big truck stopped in front of him and a huge man got out who looked more like a giant mummy. He immediately starts attacking Akira, but Akira manages to dodge his blow. He gets on the stranger's bicycle and starts riding as fast as he can, but the big guy chases after him and Akira starts to think of all the ways he can get rid of him. He realizes that the best way to defeat the mummy is to pretend it's a game. Akira decides to hide in an old abandoned building, setting a trap for the big guy. The mummy storms into the building and starts looking for Akira, but gets trapped on the top floor and is pinned down by a huge barrel. Akira thought he had won, but the big guy was still alive and still attacking. Akira had anticipated this move and prepared a pipe, which he used to pierce the mummy through. As a result, the big guy dies and falls back into the pit, and Akira winning this fight. Suddenly, a strange Catwoman named Mion appears behind him, shooting a huge hole in Akira after five seconds. Akira regains consciousness in an unfamiliar place, where there are people as confused as himself and everyone is handcuffed. Suddenly, Mion comes on the scene and starts saying that they're all dead in the eyes of society and should take part in this game no matter what. Otherwise, they will all be wiped out forever, without a single chance of survival. She also says that everyone has been randomly selected and given special superpowers, and that the main goal is to find out which of them are the strongest in order to make them into universal weapons for military purposes. Later, Akira walks into his room where the handcuffs are automatically undone. On his desk, he finds a sheet of paper with all the instructions written on it. There's also an envelope explaining his superpower. He opens his envelope and is shocked to see the strange ability he has been given. His ability is what his opponent thinks he has. That is, if the opponent thinks he has some terrifying ability, an illusion will be created and he will get those abilities for real. The day of the first battle has arrived. Akira enters the classroom and sees a guy sitting on a desk with a stick in his hands. His name is Madoka. Suddenly, a five-second timer appears and as soon as the countdown ends, their handcuffs are removed and the fight begins. Madoka's stick turns into a sword, which he attacks Akira with, but Akira manages to push him away and then throws whatever he can get his hands on at him and runs out of the room, but Madoka follows him. He catches up to Akira and tells him to give up, but Akira smiles back and says he has the ability that Mion has. And on a subconscious level, Madoka begins to think that Akira might have a hand cannon, which eventually leads to the activation of the superpower. Akira creates a hand cannon and fires it at Madoka, who falls to the floor and admits defeat. Akira walks out of the room and the handcuffs buckle again, and the superpowers disappear. Akira's classmate also ends up in this strange place, her name is Yuri. After it's announced that she will be the next to fight, she decides to open the envelope to find out her abilities. They were that she could increase her physical abilities several times. She decides to test her abilities on the wall, and with one blow, she leaves a huge dent. She decides to punch a hole in the wall, but no matter how many times she tries, she fails to do so as the organizers had taken care of it beforehand. On the day of the fight, Yuri is taken to the arena, where she sees a fat, ugly man standing there in his underwear. He tells her that his ability is to understand other people's emotions by smelling them. A five-second timer starts, and the fat man immediately starts running towards Yuri, but she jumps up and gives him a swift kick in the face with her foot, stopping him in his tracks. But that is not enough to defeat him. The fat man says that her smell tells him that she is very scared. He decides decides to take off his underpants and attack Yuri again. He manages to grab her by the neck, but Yuri quickly gathers her thoughts. She grabs his arm and bursts his bones. This shocks the fat man. 
Yuri quickly creates a smoke screen and uses it to appear behind him, then delivers a massive three-punch combo and wins. Meanwhile, Akira is informed of the start of round two and is directed to a room where the rest of the competitors are already in. It is announced that the next fight will be five on five and they have five hours to prepare for it. Akira enters the room and sits down among the other participants. Just as suddenly, the monkey man says that they are now on the same team, so they should tell each other about their abilities so they can better interact with each other in the upcoming team fights. He begins to talk about his abilities and discovers that his ability is to turn any ordinary button into a rope. Yeah, that's his superpower. Madoka tells them that his ability is to turn an ordinary stick into a sword. Yuri says her ability is to multiply her physical characteristics several times. A blue-haired guy named Shin says his ability is that he can become invulnerable for two seconds, and during that time nothing and no one can harm him. Akira decides not to reveal his true superpower to other tournament participants, or it could become a problem in the future, so he says his superpower is that he can turn his hand into a cannon. Then, all the participants are brought to the ring where they have to fight. The teams were told that they would fight one against one, and whoever Whoever scored three points first would win the round. In the first match, a monkey man and a beautiful girl come out. Monkey man realizes that his superpowers are useless and offers her a gamble in the form of a coin toss. He tells her that if a head falls out, he will leave the ring, making her the winner. He tosses the coin into the air, but before it can land in his hand, he is pierced by a bunch of two-way daggers. This girl's name was Rin, and she started apologizing for not waiting for the coin to roll and says she didn't really want to lose. Next to enter the ring are Shin and a girl named Ringo, who looks pretty calm, even too calm, which scares the rest of the competitors a bit. A five-second countdown appears, and as soon as the count runs out, Shin rushes towards the girl at full speed, but the girl just admits defeat and says she can't win. Yeah, unexpected turn. Madoka and a girl named Zokumyun enter the ring next. The five second count ends and they take their positions. Madoka takes out his stick and the girl takes out her slingshot and immediately fires it at a small ball, which immediately turns into a giant sphere. However, Madoka dodges all the balls, the girl throws another ball directly at him, but to everyone's surprise, his sword manages to cut the whole giant ball. He asks Zokumyun to give up but the girl pulls out a bunch of balls from her pockets and throws them all at once in his direction, but he manages to easily dodge each of them. On the next throw, the girl's slingshot breaks and a ball falls out. Madoka approaches the girl and asks her to give up again, but she smiles as the ball falls right below him. Suddenly, the ball turns into a huge ball and Madoka falls to the floor unconscious. The girl won the match. After that, the next fight was announced. Akira went into the arena and on the other side, a frightened man came out to him. Akira decides to use Madoka's consciousness to turn his hand into a cannon, shooting right next to him and scaring him to death, and then claims it was just a joke and turns to his opponent, knowing that he and the rest of his team now thinks that Akira has the cannon ability, and it was a cool move. He immediately shoots the man to end the battle, but the man crouches down in fear and blocks the shot with his arm. Turns out he has a shield ability. Akira realizes that he can't win this way and throws his shoe at him. He then appears behind his back and offers the opponent to surrender. This is how Akira becomes the winner and he leaves the arena. The next person to enter the arena is Yuri. The opponent turns out to be a young man with green hair and very feminine facial features who seems to know Yuri. Taking a look at her opponent, Yuri begins to freak out like screaming that she will kill this man since he has been stalking her for a long time. Um, I wouldn't want to be in this guy's shoes. As soon as the timer runs out, Yuri rushes towards her pursuer and delivers a powerful punch to his stomach, sending him flying outside the arena and crashing into the wall. After that, she immediately becomes the winner, bringing victory to her team. Suddenly, Mion appears and tells them that they will split into single players again and continue competing soon. The next day, they are taken to the forest, where they must kill as many members as possible in a limited time to earn more points. Akira meets a guy named Katsuya, who has the ability of an archer. Suddenly, Yuri comes running out of the forest, being chased by four guys in red tracksuits. They were more like a gang. To everyone's surprise, one of the gang members turns his hand into a cannon. Yuri looks at Akira and tells him to use his powers, too. Everyone heard it, and thus Yuri helped Akira activate his ability. After that, Akira immediately shot towards the gang. A man with a hand cannon shoots at our heroes, but Akira turns around and fires back. The two shots collide and there is a massive explosion. 
Katsuya explains that there are three big teams here. One is the red team they just ran into, and the other is the green team he belongs to and offers to join their team. Akira agrees, and they all head to the camp to meet their leader. Their camp was really big. Akira tells Yuri that he's thinking of joining this team as it must have incredibly strong members considering how big the complex is. They enter a room where they are greeted by an old man named Shirasagi, who tells them that they are safe here and no longer have to worry about attacks. He then turns his attention to Akira, asking him if he really has the cannon ability, and Akira struggles to answer that he does, which pleases the leader since they don't have many people with such strong attacking abilities. Katsuya asks Yuri what she can do, and she replies that she can multiply her physical characteristics several times. This really shocks the leader. He tells them that the cannon ability is considered a very strong A-ranked ability, while the ability she has is considered A+. Shirasagi and Katsuya are incredibly happy to have such powerful recruits. He explains to them how this new round works. According to him, they have to complete tasks and destroy other players to earn points that will be reflected on their smartphones. And once they reach 1,000 points, they can move up to the next level. They can also use the points to buy items or services from their smartphone, such as food or medicine. Shirasagi told them that he created the green team to protect the weaker players from being kidnapped and has been opposed the red team ever since. He told them that they are going to fight the red team and they really need strong players. And Yuri immediately decides that he will fight against the red team. But Akira is starting to have doubts about joining the green team. Shirasagi tells him that he is already in conflict with the red team, so he has no choice. Akira says he will only join the red team if necessary. He walks up to the leader and puts his hand up. Everyone is disturbed by Akira's behavior. The leader looks him straight in the eye and calmly tells him to do what he thinks is right and Akira takes the shot without a second thought. The smoke clears and, to everyone's surprise, the leader is unhurt. Shirasagi asks if he passed the test because he would be very happy to have him join their team. Yuri immediately grabs Akira and asks him why he's making such rash decisions. The leader replies that he just wanted to see if the green team had any chance against the red team, and so he decided to shoot to find out how strong the leader of that group is. Shirasagi tells them that luckily his abilities can block even a shot. Suddenly, a woman enters the room and informs Shira that a lot of new recruits arrived today, which is technically good for the team, but they don't have enough space to accommodate them all in the camp. So Akira agrees to share a room with Yuri. In the room, Akira takes a piece of paper and tells Yuri that he wants to say something to her. He quickly writes something on the paper and hands it to Yuri, telling her not to say it out loud, but to just read it and believe it. Yuri takes the piece of paper that says Akira's real ability is telepathy. He tells her to focus and believe in him. Once she believes in his ability, he starts talking to her telepathically and she can talk back to him. He tells her that he doesn't want them to talk out loud because there's a good chance the room is bugged. Akira tells her that they have to stick together to defeat Mion and get out of this place. He trusts Yuri and decides to reveal his real ability to her. Suddenly, Mion calls and informs them that there is an assignment for them. In the morning, they must all gather near the ruins and there they will have to fight a bunch of monsters if they want to stay alive. The next morning, the leader gathers his team in front of the the gate and divides them into sub-teams, leaving Akira and Yuri on the same team so they can work more efficiently. As they walked through the forest, Akira realized that now that he had told Yuri about his true abilities, she was the biggest threat to him as she could kill him whenever she wanted. They finally reached the ruins and saw Mion sitting on top of the rocks, who greeted them and told them to get ready as they were going to have to fight a bunch of enemies, and she also told them that each enemy killed was worth 30 points, so they had the opportunity to earn a bunch of points at once. Suddenly, a bunch of zombies and mummies appear out of nowhere and start attacking them. Shirasagi, being a master of defense techniques, takes the brunt of the first zombie, while another member of the group grabs a zombie and takes it down, and one of the sword-wielding girls takes out the zombie in one fell swoop. Shirasagi says that if they work together, they can easily defeat all these monsters in no time. Around them, people are fighting, demonstrating various abilities such as teleportation and voodoo magic. Akira begins to shoot the zombies from his cannon, and they seem to be winning, but Mion unleashes a giant monster on them. Akira shoots at the monster, but it does nothing, and the monster knocks him back into a tree. The monster was about to hit him when Shirasagi
Usagi steps forward and tells Akira to run and save other people while he distracts the monster. Akira follows his instructions while Shirasagi is forced to take on the monster's attacks. The red team is watching this closely as they want to know what will happen to the leader next. They want to find out the leader's abilities, who is forced to reveal his ability that allows him to absorb a lot of damage and reflect it back at the enemy. Shirasagi reflects the attacks and afterwards blows a huge hole in the monster. The only downside to this ability is that he also gets injured in the process. Everyone is beginning to rejoice that Shirasagi is alive, but the monster just gets up and devours the other zombies, regaining his health, then walks back to the leader. All the members of the group look on in amazement and don't know how they will be able to defeat such a strong monster. 